and we were not the only ones enjoying this moment down in Bloomington. There was a crowd as well at Memorial Stadium. That's where our Mark Mullins was today. Thousands of people showed up here to IU Memorial Stadium for not just one, but three shows. First, let's talk about the main show that people came out for, the totality, that solar eclipse. Many people erupted with screams when the moon crossed in front of the sun, and then people were quiet as they watched what was happening using their special glasses, and then erupted again and more cheers when we saw the diamond ring as the moon crossed in front of the sun and began showing daylight again. The other uh, major star that people came to see, Captain Kirk himself, William Shatner, began the program with a spoken word performance. I'd like to think that we're sitting around a campfire, a uh, rather large group and a rather large fire, but nonetheless, we're here to share a campfire story. The moon is going to block the view of the sun to a small group of people on Earth, and we're among the lucky ones. What we are witnessing this afternoon is so filled with mystery and awe and chance and luck and maybe divine intervention, we just don't know. And after the eclipse, Emmy-nominated performer and actress Janelle Monet wowed the crowd, giving a performance. Many people stuck around for that, for that star-studded sensation. It was a really a one, two, three, win, win, win for everyone who came to IU to see this historic day. We're in Bloomington. Mark Mullins, WRTV.